It was all about alpacas at the National Western Complex this weekend. Joel Hillen talked with a Colorado native who believes alpaca wool is the textile of the future. This is Pete. Pete is a Hakaya alpaca brought to the National Western Complex this weekend from a farm in Montana by Colorado native James right. Budd. It's so great to be back in Colorado. I get to see all my old high school friends. Um, I get to see all the other people here that are joining us in the alpaca competition. Pete took second place in the Great Western Alpaca Show's halter competition. It's all about the fiber quality, how soft it is. Does it have any guard hairs? How long is the staple length? How dense is the animal? That's what really makes a higher quality animal than just an average animal. Bud uses the soft wool from the alpaca to make everything from shirts and socks to hats, coats, and blankets. The alpacas are descendants of camels and are a man-made breed. This makes them kind creatures. They are so great with kids. They're kindred hearts to kids. Almost the smaller, the better. I mean, the twins we put out, out in the pasture when they were less than six months old, set them down and 200 of our alpacas came and touched noses. They give Eskimo kisses, that's how they communicate. Soft and sweet, Bud sees these animals as the future of farming and textiles. You know, someday there'll be more alpacas out in the pastures than sheep, period. In Denver, Joel Hillen, covering Colorado First.